Do you ever arrive home with swollen ankles and feet, with sore knees and calves? Well, as a Pilates instructor, I know the feeling. I'm on my feet all day long and oftentimes I arrive home with very tired legs. I end up plopping on the couch, elevating my feet, and maybe tossing on a heating pad or an ice pack on my feet to give them some relaxation at the end of the day. Now, if this sounds like you, then I've got something that might help us as well. Well. Hey friends, it's Kate here. Thanks so much for joining me today. Now, typically speaking, I make Pilates and yoga videos that are designed to strengthen, stretch, and heal our aching bodies when we have those little problem spots. Now, usually speaking, like I said, I do movement to help kind of relax our bodies, but let's face it, sometimes we just need to chill out too. Now today I'm actually gonna be reviewing an air compression leg massager. I've decided to do this product review for two reasons. One, because the creators of this particular product are also fellow YouTubers. Bob and Brad, they're two physical therapists. They've got a channel that I personally really enjoy. And also, who doesn't want a lovely foot and leg massager? So I did agree to do that. Full disclosure, they did send it to me for free. However, I'm not being paid for this video or for my review. They just asked if I would please do a review for them. So I thought this would be a fun opportunity to do so. I've been using the product for about a week and a half and I've really enjoyed it so far. And I'm gonna talk about the pros and one con. Now I'm gonna get the con out of the way because personally that's what I really like to hear when I'm looking at reviews first and foremost. So the only con that I actually have for this product is it is a little cumbersome to use if you have a lot of mobility issues or maybe some flexibility issues in your lower body. It perhaps might be a little harder to put on for yourself only because um, as you'll see the product itself is interconnected by tubes where the air you know goes into each little part of it so it you know it needs to function in that way but it did make it a little bit challenging I kind of felt like I was a little spider attached to a spider web or I suppose more of a fly attached to a spider web once I was inside it now it is pretty adjustable and honestly I think if you're just sitting in a chair putting it on and off it, it wouldn't be that challenging. I kept using it while laying on the couch because that's where I like to relax and so maybe it was just kind of funny for me to put it on in that way. So truth be told that was really the only con of the massager that I tried so far. Now let's talk about the pros. First we're going to start with how quiet it was. I, I was expecting with it being an air compression massager that it might be a little bit loud to really get that quality kind of squeezing and massaging sensation, but surprisingly it's, it is actually very silent. I've used it a number of times where I've got my headphones on and I'm just kind of listening to music or a podcast on my iPad and it was not distracting whatsoever to me, so that was really great. Second, it was very lightweight. I was I was actually a little bit surprised when I got the box. I don't know, for some reason I thought it would be heavier. Again, it is an air compression massage, so maybe that was silly of me to have this kind of idea in my head. But it's very lightweight and it comes in a or it comes with a little bag that you can place everything inside so it can be kept nice and tidy when you aren't using it. I really enjoyed that it is adjustable for the size of your own legs. It has Velcro on it so you can make it a little more snug or a little loose depending on the size and shape of your legs. They are actually in two parts as well. There's like a boot half that covers the foot, the ankle, and the calf, and then another part that covers your thigh. Uh, so depending on where you want it on your thigh, you can kind of position that differently from your calf muscle, which that was really nice as well. One thing that I absolutely loved about it is it's heated and you can turn the heat on or off depending on what you like. I like my feet to feel nice and warm, so I really enjoyed that my fe my feet and my, my calves felt so nice and toasty. I've used it a lot towards the end of the day when I'm just ready to curl up and kind of chill out and snuggle on the couch and it's felt really nice to turn that heat on and allow my feet to feel so nice and toasty. And then I also enjoyed that you can adjust the intensity of it. The very first time I used it, I just purely turned it on and I let it do its thing. It, um, it starts off with just a, a 15 minute session on more of a lower intensity. It didn't feel like a lot was going on until the very end of that. It was kind of a nice, very gentle massage at first and then towards the end I got a little bit more compression which I enjoyed that. Now every time I've used it since then, I turn the air compression up uh, intensity as high as I can because I really like deep tissue massage. When I get a real massage in life, I want them to leave me bruised. Um, so I like that really 
kind of tight sensation and it especially felt so good on my calves on some of my uh, days when I've had really long walks and my, my feet have been really tired. And not only can you adjust the intensity of the actual air compression itself, but you can adjust where it's you know, happening on your own legs. So there's a setting where it will just kind of go throughout your entire leg, kind of like you're sitting in a massage chair and it just goes up and down the whole length of your spine. Or you can have different settings where it's just on your foot, just on your ankle, just on your calf muscle, and you can control that with uh, the little handheld control that's attached to it. I found that to be really nice. And finally, I wanna talk about the price. It is about $120 on Amazon um, at the time of filming this. I'm not sure if it'll go up or down from there. And I did see that currently it's about to be Black Friday um, at the time that I am filming this. And there is a $30 off coupon on Amazon as well. So that's pretty great. I know a lot of massagers are much more expensive than this. I've bought quite a few for friends and family and myself over the years and $100 you know, about a hundred bucks for an entire leg massage is not bad at all. Now, I absolutely love having products like this at home, whether it is this fabulous air compression leg massager, just a plain tennis ball or a little wooden foot roller. Things like this can really help our lower body feel so good. Our feet, our ankles, pretty much everything below the knees does so much work for us each and every day and they deserve lots of love and attention. And now while I love doing these kinds of things myself, it's also great to remind yourself that Pilates is for our feet and ankles as well. I will go ahead and link to a couple of videos that focus on our feet, our ankles, creating mobility and stability in those areas of the body and can help make us feel even better as well. I certainly hope you enjoy the rest of the day and I cannot wait to see you again.